Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Good Day LA. I'm Tony McEwing. And I'm Megan Colorossi. It is Friday, December 22nd. Here is what's happening right now. Rosalie Avila was a beautiful 13-year-old girl who took her own life after being bullied. Her family wants to make sure something positive comes out of the tragedy. They will be here to explain. On November 28, 13-year-old Rosalie Avila of Yucaipa hanged herself after being bullied relentlessly for months. Rosalie's father tried CPR. She was rushed to the hospital. Unfortunately, two days later, she was declared brain dead and taken off of life support three days after that. Joining us now are Rosalie's parents, Freddie and Charlene Avila, and her sister and their family's attorney, Brian Claypool. Um, you walked in and all I could say was, I'm sorry. There's no words that can um, come out of my mouth, but I'm sorry. There but really aren't. And, and you guys must still be in, in total shock over this. Yes, we are. I just can't believe she's gone. I mean, I look at my at my kids. Like in a, in a van, you know, we six six because I have my kids and my nephew. And then there's that spot that's empty. Mm -hmm. You know, just an empty space in the kitchen table. Just eating with us. Just it's, she's, it's not the same. It's just, just, it's just so unreal. Honestly. And so you come together and um, we get to the incident and how this all came about, but why are you here today? We're here because we want, we're just tired. We want change to happen right now, not later. Not, we want something to be done about right now, about all this bully problem. These bully problems have been going on for, for who knows how long, for years and years, you know, or even, maybe even thousands of years. But we have to just do something about the kids, you know, it's too much. Well, and, and, and you know what, and this may be a, a question for the attorney because I'm not sure, you know, how much you guys can say since there will be legal action pending. But I, I'm just curious, what did the school know? When did they know it? And what did they do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, months leading up to uh, Rosalie hanging herself, Tony, the, both parents communicated with the school, phone calls, meetings with the school, letting them know that their daughter, Rosalie, was being bullied. Make no mistake about it, this was not an isolated incident because you're looking at Leilani, their other daughter, who was also bullied within the same school district and she suffered a concussion. So the school was clearly on notice of what was happening with Rosalie. In fact, in October, Rosalie was cutting herself. Mm -hmm. So the school again is on aware that there's, there's gotta be some problem going on here. And when you drop your child off at a school, the school takes custody of your kids. So they have a legal duty to ensure the safety of your kids. And they blatantly failed, and that's why we filed this lawsuit. So it, when they said that you brought it to their attention, um, they did, uh, did they approach the other parents of the bullies? Yeah. Did they do anything yeah. to the kids <clears throat> that were doing the bullying? The principal, Principal Moore told me, because my 11-year-old got pushed down two weeks before this happened to my other daughter, and we went back to them because not only did my 11-year-old get pushed down, but my 13-year-old told the girl, hey, leave my little sister alone because they're bigger kids. And the girl goes, hey, I'll kick your butt too. Mm -hmm. And so I told the principal, and he's like, well, you know, Mr. Avila, you guys are good parents. You care, you come every time there's an issue, you're coming and you're talking to us, and we appreciate that, but some parents just don't respond. But what did they do? That's the question. Yeah. They suspended her for two days. She came back, <coughs> broke another girl's wrist. Wow. Like the, within the next week, and she's still back at school. Leilani, sweetheart, what are you feeling right now? Um, just miss my sister. Yeah. It's really tough. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, you um, said um, you noticed uh, Rosalie being withdrawn. And for parents who are going through similar situations, what would you say to them? Like, they, if their kids are being bullied and they see their kids something, you know, Rosalie was cutting herself, but what would you say to them to take action? How, how, what could they do to, in order to help prevent something like this happening? Oh, wow. That's a big question, I know. <laughs> it is. Um, do you want to, well, say what, to help the family? I mean, the new law. Yeah. The, the, this family wants Rosie's law enacted. And the good news is, I heard from uh, Congresswoman Elo Eloise Reyes. Uh, yesterday, who wants to partner with us on the new law. And so, what would that law do? Well, that, yeah, one of the big things the law would do, a couple components of it. Number one, if any parent picks up the phone and calls a school district and says, my child's being bullied, they have to document that. The problem here is 
There's no paper trail. School districts don't want, want anybody to know that you filed a complaint about bullying. They've got to document every complaint. Number two, school districts nationwide have to treat verbal bullying on the same playing field as physical abuse. The way our state education code's set up, if it's physical abuse, we'll look into it. If it's verbal abuse, abuse, sorry, we're gonna put that off to the side. And then the third part about it is, schools have to contact the parents of the bully. Mm. So how, how can we as all parents, I have a little girl, how can we do anything about it when the school has control of the kids and they're not contacting the parents well, of the bully? And, and here's the thing, a, a lot of the bullying now is not just physical. In this case, there was there was physical yeah. bullying involved, but there's also so much social media bullying. Social media, and there's a video that went around, and you know, it's like a social media is, and telephones and phones in schools are a big problem. I yeah, think. Yes. I think the biggest one was the, the kid that made the meme of my daughter talking about how instead of mom tucking you into bed, she's gonna be like burying you at her gravesite, you know? And that was very, that was heartbreaking because, you know, no matter what, that's my daughter that they're talking about. And it, I took it really, you know, hard because it's something that I don't want no one or wish anybody to go through this. And, um, and just seeing the comments, how people are just so, just so heartless, you know. Well, what just about the video like, about the, the ugly girl and the pretty girl? Yeah. They, they put Rosalie on a video. Here's mm -hmm. an ugly girl, and then here's a pretty girl. But they, Rosalie's a hero. Tell them what your daughter did. She donated, I want everybody to know, she donated four, four. organs of her body to save four lives. Yes. A lot of people don't know this. That's Share that amazing. with them. How do you want everyone to remember Rosalie? I want to remember her that she was, always, she was always making people laugh. She was always caring about her friends. I shared a story with them about how Rosalie always made sure that her friends got presents for their birthdays. And she didn't just buy these little five dollar gifts. She was like 20 something dollars. And I used to make her do all, she didn't like to, she was very, very bright. And so she was a little lazy. They say a lot of bright people are lazy. <laughs> and, but she would do anything for her friends. She would pick up dog poop. She would fold, she hated folding clothes, but she would do that, I'll fold your clothes if you buy my friend uh, a birthday present, I'm like looking at her like, okay, another 25 bucks, huh? That's what my mind's thinking, but I knew that she always wanted to do something for her friends. Well, it sounds like a real angel. Well, Angel, and I have to say, as um, a parent and sitting here, thanks for coming in today. It's Christmas, really it's very hard, it. and I hope this comes some good out of this for kids out there who are being bullied. And I, we want to tell people, if you know anyone who's feeling suicidal, you can call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline 24 hours a day at 800 273-8255. Or you can contact Crisis Text Line, a confidential service that will allow you to text with a crisis counselor. You can reach them by texting HOME to 741-741. And again, we want to thank the Avala family for, for coming. And listen, our thoughts and prayers are with you guys. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you for having me. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you. I want to cry.